Good afternoon. Um, so I will try to be short and talk about uh, Mars 500. We have 10 minutes left before the big event and uh, the keynote of Frank after that. So first, Mars 500. Some of you already know what is this mission, but I will just uh, explain a little bit and uh, talk a little bit about what this uh, scientific mission is. Um, Mars 500 is a mission which was organized by the Institute of Biomedical Problems in Moscow and the ESA, the ESA European Space Agency, and later joined by the Astronaut Center of China. Uh, the idea was to answer a question. The question was, is man psychologically and physiologically able to endure the confinement of a trip to Mars? In other words, can we live together as a crew for an extended period of time in these 520 days, so roughly one year and a half. So here you have the crew, the, the crew of the 520 days study uh, with the three Russians, two Europeans and one Chinese. So Alexei in the center bottom is our, was our commander. On uh, his right, on our left, is uh, Sukrob, our crew surgeon. Uh, just above in the middle is a third Russian, uh, Alexander, who was our specialist and uh, the commander of the Martian mission. I will come to that a bit later. Top left, Van Yue, our Chinese colleague. And on the right, the two Europeans, so Diego at uh, the bottom, flight engineer, and myself, uh, board engineer for this mission. This mission was in Moscow. Um, we were living together for 520 days in mainly three cylinders, three modules. The biggest one was the one below the big red um, arc. It was the storage module where we had the food and the clothes and all the things that we would need for this long mission. The second and most important module for us was the living module, which is um, the longest one at the bottom. Inside... And this module, roughly the size of a bus, you had six rooms, one control room, one bathroom, one kitchen, and one living room. And you can see the kitchen and living room on the right. So now you have the crew, you have the setting, where it happened, uh, what happened during those 520 days. Well, first, it started on the 3rd of June, 2010. The six of us entered this door, in the back, and this door just um, was sealed for the next year and a half. Inside, our work was to do scientific experiment to understand how the body would evolve, and um, those experiments were divided in big groups. The first one were, was psychological experiment. Here, you can see Diego, who is learning with a tool to um, dock a uh, Soyuz to the uh, ISS. The idea is to see how can we learn new skills inside confinement. Is it uh, still efficient? And uh, how does it go with, uh, with the body? So you can see a lot of electrodes all over his body to understand how he's reacting to this um, training. Other experiments were uh, physiological experiments. And uh, because we had a lot, like more, more than 100 experiments to do, some of them, when you look at them, uh, first time looks a bit strange. For example, this experiment is called uh, pain tolerance. And you can see on my arm, I have a thermocouple, so like an iron, which is heating more and more and more and more. And when it's uh, not bearable anymore, I have a red button on my uh, right hand, and I just press it. And don't worry, I took this picture and I made this face. I would stop much before that. Um, and so the idea is to see our, is our pain tolerance evolving when we are in confinement? Because when you go to Mars, when you arrive on Mars, you have to hold on your shoulders and your head a 30 kilogram spacesuit. And that can be painful after some time walking around. And um, so if your pain tolerance decreases, then we can have a problem. So even though the study can look strange or funny at first, there is always some questions, scientific questions, questions behind. behind. So this is more... A uh, physiological experiment. The typical physiological experiment, and I will not go too deep on this one, looks like that. Electrodes all over the body, and we have to do either some task or to rest and gather data. 
Another physiological experiment, which was actually very important, is the food. And um, I can talk about it a bit later, but food definitely is important in space and on Earth, I'm sure. The, the other last type of experiments were linked to the environment. And um, so this is Diego taking some samples on uh, aluminum, some, because you know, six guys living in a closed environment it lives to, you know, or things live inside this environment. But back to what happened during those 520 days. We had, quite quickly, some routines um, uh, starting with uh, our crew, and we were getting more and more, um, doing tasks more and more monotonously. So we tried to have some events to give some energy to the crew. Some events, we would decide them. So this one is Halloween. For none of us, Halloween is very important. But we said, ah, let's celebrate Halloween. Let's put on some costumes and spend the whole day working with those costumes. So that was definitely um, a fun day. And um, it, gives us, it gave us some energy for the next uh, days and weeks after that. And some other events, we didn't ask for them. All of a sudden, um, we didn't have any more power. And so you can't see a lot, but that's normal because no power for us, it's no light, only the security lights, no ventilation, and no water. Uh, but so we stayed like that for 22 hours. It was not very nice, but after that, when we talked about it, well, it was fun. It was something different. And um, so if we decide them or not, different events are definitely something which stays and helps us to go forward. But Mars 100 was about Mars. So we wanted to reach this red planet. And in February 2011, we arrived on Mars. And that was the highlight. It was like a second Christmas because, because we reached our goal, our somebody goal, even though it was on Earth, but still. And then because the habitable module, the Martian lander, didn't have anybody, it was stacked with the food and the clothes and everything for the way back. So when we opened it, finally, after eight months of traveling, it was Christmas. It was like full of new food, full of new clothes. It was just great. And three of us went further in isolation and arrived on the Martian surface. Once again, it was not the real one. And uh, they did some spacewalks in um, um, Orlan E costumes. So it's the Russian um, EVA suit, but modified uh, by Zvezda. And so you can see Diego, Alexander, and Vanue, who spent two weeks and did three EVAs on the Martian surface. And soon after, they came back to the main module, and we started the way back. The way back was a bit like that, kind of boring. It's more a personal feedback that I give you because it was a bit different for each of us, but it really felt like there is not a lot to say or to see about it. So this is just uh, the corridor in the living module with all the rooms on the left, you can imagine, and the hatch going to the gym. Um, but this diff period was a bit more difficult, but luckily we had a team and not the down periods were the same for everybody. So to cheer us up, we had birthdays. Those were very important. But we also had a lot of uh, personal activities. And just to cut the story short, on the 4th of November 2011, the whole crew exited the modules. And I think the main success of Mars 100 was that we were six when we entered um, in June 2010 and we're still six and still working together when we exited the modules in November 2011. And with that, I thank you.